Ooh, uh, what's going on YouTube? It's HD Catnip here. Today I'm bringing you a After Effects tutorial. I don't need much of these because I'm just not getting into After Effects and I was getting into Vegas, but yeah, it's whatever. Uh, the tutorial I'm going to do is the reverse like scope shot or effect. So I'll have it at the beginning of this clip. So what we're going to do is going to open up After Effects. Make sure you have your you know what clip you want. It's a pretty sick effect. I love it. Alright, now that After Effects is open, I'm going to let it load a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go to File Import. And I am going to go to my clip that I just want to get. So, look at this one. Alright, so now that we have the clip, I'm going to drag it into the timeline, and it's right here. Now we are going to go where the shot's at, so wherever your shot is. So I'm just going to go up a few keyframes, figure out where my shot is. Alright, my shot is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File Import and we're going to get an Intervention Gun Shot Sound. If you guys need this, I'll put it in the description as a download. It's very simple to get. So uh, I'm going to get that out. I'm going to drag it into where my shot is. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. Duplicate it. So we're going to go to edit, duplicate. Now we want the reverse sound of the gunshot. So we're going to right click on the file you just duplicated, go to time, and go to time reverse layer. As you see, it'll have these little red diagonal bars. That is where it's going to go, and then it'll go into a shot. So we're going to put this a little bit in the front here. We want it to sound to, uh, Just go into it, and I'll just have like. Oops, I hate whenever it has to render. But anyway, it'll it'll go into the shot. It'll go into the shot about right here, and it'll go. And whenever it turns around, it'll go boom. But I think I'm gonna shorten this a little bit. I'll have that right there. So it'll just make that sound. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the reverse zoom in effect. So we're going to go where the shot is, which is. Oh, it's back here. The shot's right here. So we're going to go wherever we want it to zoom in at. I'm going to have a short zoom since mine's all weird. Like. Whenever I do the shot, it just it's everywhere. So I have to aim in where it's the guy's at, kinda. So I'll aim about right here. So over here on your effects and presets, type in optic, and it'll be compensation. Drag onto your video. Now what we are going to do, we are going to check reverse lens distortion, and then we're going to go wherever we want to zoom in at. So I'm just going to put a keyframe over here. It likes to be stupid and do that. So we got a keyframe right there. And a keyframe right. Uh, go back to my, where I want it to zoom in at. And I'll have a keyframe on one before that. And right whenever I want my shot, or I want the zoom in, I, I want to put it on 150. Make sure you hit the stopwatch. 150. Hit enter so it goes in like that. I do 150 because I like the look of it. 
you guys can use whatever you want that you feel comfortable with. So, and then figure out where you want it to stop at. I'll have it stopping right here. So I'll put it on actually a little bit further. So I'll get it exactly how you want it. So I'll have it right here and I'll put a zero. So now I'm just gonna let this render out. I'm gonna put a zero right here again. And if it if it zoom if it's zoomed in like this, like this is right here, just hit U on your keyboard so you can see all the keyframes. And I'm gonna put another keyframe because I hate whenever it zooms in already. So I'm just gonna put a keyframe right here, have a zero. So between these it won't be zoomed in. And whenever you have the shot, oh I put it over that keyframe. That was my bad. And then whenever you have the shot, or your pre that we're gonna have zero right here. And then it should go into the shot. Yeah, see? Alright. So now I'm just gonna let it render. See how it zoomed in a little bit? Mine would be zoomed in a lot more, but I just have a bad shot where it zooms in. I don't want it going everywhere. And it'd just be very awful. As you can see, it sounds pretty good and looks pretty good. You can just tweak with the settings and everything. Uh, I've been watching other videos. They have, like, the transformation. And mine just doesn't do it. Mine doesn't show it. So I'm not going to do wiggle. But you can find those videos and do it. I'll have a link in the description if you want those. But yeah, it's it's very nice. You can extend it longer, mess with all these. It just it looks really good. It's a very good effect. Uh, it's HD Catnip. Comment, rate, subscribe. If this helped you, and please give me messages on what you want me to do next. Thank you.